Hello ladies and welcome back to another Black Women's Educational Podcast Talk. Um, If you happen to take a look at my community posts, um, I wanted to touch on the subject of um, using your degree to your advantage if you're going to remain at a job for a longer period of time. Um, So let's just dive right into it. If you are in STEM, If you are um, in healthcare, let's say, for example, um, you've earned your associate's degree, you are able to get hired into your particular career field, you are able to get hired to the hospital. Now, many of you are in these careers. um, You're not just stopping at your associate's degree. You're currently working in the hospital. You're currently working as a registered nurse um, with your associates, or maybe you're currently, um, you know, working in a STEM field with just your associates. Nine times out of 10, the majority of you who are working in in these positions, you're working full time and you're also going to school full time to complete your bachelor's. And that is the scenario for a number of black women in these particular fields so here's what you need to know here's what you need to take into consideration while you're working these jobs full-time and you're completing your bachelor's online because i know you know during COVID, a lot of you are taking online classes full-time when you complete your bachelor's you need to be contacting hr to see what's going to be the next move for you and what i mean by that is pay do not cheat yourself do not cheat yourself a lot of people don't realize that you can in fact do this at a lot of companies especially working in healthcare, um especially working in stem you're working for these different companies while you are working full time and you have officially completed your bachelor's degree why are you not having a sit down talk or contacting the HR department? You need to be notifying the HR department and you need to be doing some negotiating. You need to be doing some talking about a raise or some money. And ladies, the only reason why this is really important to talk about is because sometimes you're in the position where you have completed your degree, you may not be ready to move on from that com- from that particular company or from that particular hospital facility just yet. Maybe you need to stay there at that company or that job for just another year or maybe a couple of years because you have certain life obligations that you need to tend to. Maybe you have kids and maybe picking up and moving to a different hospital to work at is not feasible at this time. Now, considering those real life situations, right? I get it. You just earned your degree. You're ready to go off and you're ready to make more money. Yes, if you're able to pick up and go after you have put in maybe a year or two at that job, definitely go ahead. You know, if you are free of children, if you have no life obligations, go right ahead. However, for some women, that may not be feasible at that time. So this is where going to HR and making your newfound degree known will come into play. Because if you are at a current position and you know, let's say, for example, okay, let's just let's just throw out some numbers. Let's say you are a registered nurse and you are a RN that has their associate's degree. Maybe they hired you in at starting at, listen, don't get too fixated on numbers. We're just throwing out numbers. Maybe coming into that facility, you're a new grad, you have no experience as a registered nurse. Let's say, for example, they just happen to start you off at a $30, $30 an hour even, even, not $31. Let's just say they started you off at $30 an hour, right? Um, and let's say, you know, you took an accelerated bachelor's program to earn your degree. Now, I may get some slack for this. Um, depending on the state that you live in, 
a lot of times they want to say that they don't pay back uh, a bachelor earned registered nurse more than a nurse that has their associate's degree but again you got to take in consideration it depends on how much experience you have it depends on how long you've been working at the facility it may depend on a, a number of things right but the point is this i'm just using a nurse as an example right you took this program, you completed your bachelor's in literally one year from this on, from this accelerated program, and you were able to use your tuition reimbursement because you work at this hospital, right? So with that being said, you need to put in your time and probably stay another year, okay? So with that being said, if you are at an obligation to stay at this facility for another year or two, well, you might as well get more pay you might as well uh get more pay per hour while you're working there and this is why it's important to notify your jobs and the hr departments at your job that hey i've just earned a bachelor's degree hey i've just earned a master's degree where's my money you need to be asking them where is my money because now that you have taken on a higher course of education you know, uh, you're obligated to earn more. You know, you have earned the right to at least ask for a raise. So in these type of fields, you need to be very aware of that because it literally makes no sense for you to continue making $30 an hour at your job and you've just completed a whole bachelor's degree or maybe you went back to school and completed your master's degree. So it only makes sense that you would try to negotiate a higher earning wage because you're cheating yourself if you've spent all this money going back to school and you have taken this time to you know take classes full time online while you're working full time you've just earned a bachelor's or a master's degree yet you're still sitting here at your company making thirty dollars an hour it doesn't add up and it doesn't make sense because the whole point of gaining higher education in your particular career field is for you to earn more money. So if you don't speak up and open your mouth to HR or even have a sit down talk with your with your management, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. You need to be able to open your mouth and be proactive about contacting human resources, contacting management. And saying, hey, you know, this is this, I've, I've earned my education. I've been at this company or I've been at this hospital for a number of years. You know, let's negotiate my pay package. Let's take another look at my pay package and see, you know, what is it that you guys can pay me for my worth after I've just earned this bachelor's, after I've just earned this master's degree. And I also want to hit at this. This is another reason why a lot of black women, even in higher education, do not get paid their worth because, you know, you coming to your manager or you coming to the human resources department, you're scared that you're going to look demanding. You're you're too scared that you're going to be asking for too much. But listen, everybody else, this is what everybody else does. These white women, these Asian women, all these other races of people, this is how that this is why they are earning more than than the majority of black women who are educated. This is exactly why the white girl sit next to you in the cubicle every single day doing her IT work. This is why she getting paid five thousand dollars more than you and you don't even know it. That's because she had that sit down talk with human resources and she laid it out on the table and she laid out her certification she laid out her degrees and just like how you and her were having that talk in the in the lunchroom and she was telling you oh girl i went back to school full time and i just earned my mba and guess what that's why she that is exactly why she is earning five thousand to ten thousand dollars more than you and you and her got the same degree but the only difference is is that she went to management and she had that conversation and she was not scared about looking demanding you cannot be scared to put the receipts down on the table and show these companies and show these hospitals and facilities that you put in the work you put in the time 
I mean, because what is the point of you going back to school to get your MBA? What is the point of you going back to school to get your bachelor's or master's if you're going to be scared to lay it, to lay it out on the table to get every single coin that, you, that you're owed from this company? Because, again, closed mouths do not get fed. You are using company's time every day sitting in that cubicle looking on indeed comparing jobs i know y'all do it you know you using you on company's time anyways looking up credits for class so you know so why not use their time to discuss your pay after you just completed this degree to get five thousand dollars more or ten thousand dollars more a year why not do not be scared to open your mouth. This degree is not just a piece of paper. This degree is literally your key to earning at least ten to fifty thousand dollars a year on your on your pay period. And ladies, it's all about playing chess and not checkers when it comes to working in healthcare. When it comes to working in STEM, you have to play chess and not play checkers with this because. You know, a lot of times we wonder, well, why is it that it's always black women in the workplace? They're the ones with the most education. They're the ones who know every single solution when you guys have a a project coming up. Okay, you're you're one of the only black female project managers at your job and you're the one who holds the glue together in all these meetings, but you're wondering why everybody else around you is you know getting a promotion or well wait a minute he's only been here three years I've been here for five years and I have a whole master's degree he only has a bachelor's why are they giving him the position why are they giving why are they giving uh Brad the position well Brad (laughs) Brad took his behind to human resources or had a talk with his management and told him about the MBA program that he's trying to get into now that he's completed his bachelor. So he up in that office demanding more money and putting his foot down, that's why. That's why you cannot be scared to speak up and say something. Soon as you get, let me tell y'all something, soon as you get that status in your portal saying that degree is completed and they giving you a date that they can mail you that degree you need to be getting a copy of that degree and faxing it over to HR ASAP you need to be on that phone with human resources trying to make an appointment to see who it is that you need to speak to or who it is that that you need to be talking to in order to have some type of meeting uh during the week before 5 p.m before they close every day about listen who can i speak to because i would like to negotiate my pay because i just earned this particular certification i just earned this particular degree so i would like to speak to someone about uh looking over uh my pay package what who can i speak to about that like (laughs) y'all y'all have got to do that because if you sit up there at your desk every single day or you sit up there at the nurses station every single day or whatever you do in STEM or healthcare, you know, wondering why, you know, you not seeing an increase after you just went through all this schooling and you plan on, st- that's the thing, and you plan on staying at this job for at least another year or two before you can you know, make your next move, you need to be asking for more money. Because you have to understand whether you work in healthcare or STEM, the hospitals are not just going to come come up to you and say, oh, I, I heard that you earned your bachelor's. I heard that you earned your master's. Here's more money. That's not how th- these corporations work. That's not how these companies work. That's not how these hospitals work. As long as you are willing to not look up what's going to benefit you as long as you are willing as long as they know that you're in the dark about you know your pay 
and you having a right to go to human resources or speak up about management about hey i just earned this i just earned that where my pay at they're not gonna pay you because you have to understand these corporations that you ladies work in in your stem careers and in your field or if you're in healthcare, these places they don't bank on you having any type of knowledge to understand that you can ask for an in for an increase in your pay after you've earned your particular degree. They don't bank on you knowing that. If anything, they're probably happy that you don't know that because that means that they don't have to pay you your worth. They continue to get this get the same amount of work out of you every day and having you be more of a knowledgeable employee without paying you for it. That's how you have to look at it. So also another thing that you need to realize, even if your particular company or your hospital, you know, is not willing to maybe pay you what you feel like you are worth after you just earned a degree, in your particular field, in your title, then you also need to be asking them, well, you know, what other benefits could you possibly use um, from your newfound education? Like, you have to understand, like, you being in your career, you also need to benefit from it somehow. So if they're also not willing to <laughs> pay you, then, you know, you need to be getting information of, okay, what type of resources can I benefit from to continue increasing my education so that I can go elsewhere that will pay me my worth? Of course, you're not going to tell them that, but I highly, highly suggest that you ladies look into resources and you definitely need to be looking into um, your worth of pay in your careers after you earn a higher degree that is going to benefit you in your career so if it's going to benefit you in your career don't you think your employer should be paying you more for it giving you a raise just putting it out there but again a lot of these employers they don't bank on you thinking about that they don't bank on you knowing that type of information but I'm telling you right now you need to be making appointments with the, with the HR department or you need to be figuring out who you can speak to in HR to talk about your p current pay packages or talk about your hourly pay rate after you just spent money and time on a degree that will help you to become a better nurse, that will help you to become a better engineer, whatever it is in these careers, you need to be evaluating your pay package after that after that degree hits your mailbox and you need to be finding out who you need to fax a copy of your degree to um over an hr to get that money to get more money so ladies i really hope that this was an eye opener please take this into consideration if you're going to be staying at a job or staying in a, a certain career for a number of years this is something that you need to consider and you need to understand that your education is earning you more money and you need to establish um, an understanding with your company after that degree hits. Soon as it hits, you need to be running to HR to get your money. <laughs> so ladies, I hope that this was an eye opener. If any ladies have any questions or comments, please leave it in the, in the comment section below. I also encourage you, if you are working in administration or maybe if you are an HR employee yourself, um, if I have said anything or left anything out, please feel free to even um, comment um, your knowledge under the comment section. And I want to thank you ladies so much for listening and take care. Bye-bye.